Hello everyone. My name is Don Forrest at New Aiming Law Group. Today I would like to discuss the problem and the challenges of I-485 denial, which has become more common in recent months. The United States Citizenship and Immigration Services may deny the I-485 adjustment of status for a variety of reasons, including the following. Documents are incomplete. Some important forms or supporting materials are missing. The applicant did not respond to USIS communication, including requests for evidence and notice of intent to deny in a timely fashion. Applicant had visa status gaps in the past or otherwise violated U.S. immigration law. Other law violations, including domestic violence, crime of moral turpitude, and others could also be a factor. Another factor, the family relationship or employment relationship as basis of immigration petition no longer exists. USA suspects the applicant's documents or information are false or include misrepresentation as another factor. Applicant specific background that includes membership in the Communist Party or other totalitarian parties or groups affiliated with those parties, past military experience, work experience in the police force or jail, or government of some countries. Usually, in such situations, reflecting back on these various conditions and issues, the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services will issue an RFE or NOID first. And if there is no response, or the response was not timely filed, or the response is not persuasive enough, then the USIS will deny the I-485 application for the applicant's green card. What can an applicant do in such a situation? Our law firm has helped numerous applicants to receive approvals of I-485 in immigrant visa applications. Usually, the applicant can submit documents requested by the USIS along with other evidence. The applicant can also consider filing the I-601 waiver of inadmissibility application if possible. If the I-485 application is denied, the applicant may file a motion to reopen the application or submit a new I-485 adjustment of status application. Our law firm has helped clients to respond to uses concerns using a variety of the options described above, and many of the I-485 applications were then successfully approved. If you have any questions, please contact us by email at info at nwmlaw.com. Thank you very much.